Hi and welcome to Oracle Insight. Thanks for being here with me, those returning as well as those who are new. Today's reading is a pick a card reading for a yes or no answer to a question that you have. You have three options in front of you, one, two and three you'll have a question that you would like a yes or no answer to hold that question in your mind take your time feel into which of these cards you're feeling the most connected to once you are comfortable with your selection you can skip straight through to the timestamp you will find in the description and so I shall connect with you in your reading Hi and welcome to those of you who selected this first pile of cards. So we'll go ahead and turn these cards over to get the yes or no answer. Wheel of Fortune, that is a yes for me. Page of Cups is a yes and that Knight of Wands is a yes. So three out of three of these cards is a yes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and turn over these Oracle cards. Let's get some more information. We've got Professional Assistance. Creative Endeavour in Reverse and Sacred Temple. I love how that's sparkling there. That's really beautiful. Hmm. Okay, group number one. There seems to be some kind of situation here which requires you to seek assistance with professional assistance here. Whatever's happening, it doesn't look like there's going to be a breakthrough unless you look outside yourself to get some answers or to get some guidance. You've got the Wheel of Fortune here wanting to turn and it will do. Once you've got the information that you need which you are going to get if, if you get some outside advice because there seems to be some interruption here with situation a project that's not moving forward like you would want it to and it's as if the page of cups is looking for answers in that cup but it isn't going to find it in there as much as they would like to that's not what i'm sensing in this situation with the sacred temple mm, and the knight of wands there must be some spiritual guidance around you right now wanting to light the way for you just drawn to the way that these these beams of light are shining out. Hmm. Okay. All right then, why don't we turn these cards over and see what else we have. Okay, you have five of air, nine of water, nine of cups, messenger of air, and the hermit. Okay, so with the five of air, that's the five of swords. So not quite having clear thinking or being able to process information as well as you would like to. So once again, the professional assistance seems to be the way to go at this stage. Nine of water, which is nine of cups. So we're talking happy times here. That looks to be connected to this creative endeavor. Once this is settled, that wheel will turn and that should... Um, factor in the valuables i am seeing then here that there is an um, there is something beneficial in the monetary sense so maybe it is connected to this creative endeavor it might be to do with contracts some kind of patent copyrights hmm Okay, and I'm looking at the Hermit. This is suggesting that definitely not time to close the door on the world and ignore the issue that needs to be addressed. With the Messenger of Air, whatever assistance you need, once you seek it, you're going to have a clearer vision and be able to make some kind of decision a lot faster. And yeah, that's going to allow that Wheel of Fortune to turn and get things moving along. I'm also seeing this hermit as a card that reflects time that you've spent on this creative endeavor behind closed doors, being guided by spirit in terms of this creation. Oh, I wonder what you're working on, group one. Okay, all right, and then this card here is Wisdom of the Oracle, and it's asking why. All right, so I'm drawn to the fact there's that book here, which connects with the professional assistant's the books in the background there in the library. So whatever questions that need to be answered, it's going to be answered by, once again, this professional advice. There's something that needs to be looked into carefully. 
And once again, I I get the word patent or copyright or something contractual that needs to be settled in order for this situation to be addressed and allow the cogs of this wheel to turn and move forward. That's the message I have for you, Group 1. If this has been beneficial, please consider liking and subscribing. Take care of yourselves and I'll connect with you again in another reading. Hi, and welcome to those of you who selected group number two. Right, so let's turn over these cards. So you've got Ace of Pentacles, Empress, nice. Oh, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, that is lovely. All three of these are a clear yes. So that's the answer to your question, group two. It's a yes. Next up, we have got Quantum of the Oracle cards. Let's have a look to see what that says. You've got Ascended Masters. Very nice. Some guidance on hand there. Okay, a loss and new supportive connections. Well, group number two, there seems to be opportunities abound for you right now. I'm looking at the fact that you've got the Ace of Pentacles here, Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. That's all speaking to abundance, that's prosperity, stability, some kind of pathway to independence that's going to see you very secure and stable in your life. Now Ascended Masters here, that's with spiritual guidance. You could have some specific guides around you. This could refer to having the ability to, I'm just drawn to the hands here. You've got a hand with a pentacle and then you've got four hands here. You're really being lifted up to achieve something. You've got a lot of support and a lot of guidance. You may have had a loss and with this new supportive connections there, that's really speaking to a time of isolation, maybe not having that ability to connect with others, whether that's because you have pulled yourself back from mixing and mingling with others. Could, given that this loss card is here, it could be to do with a loss that you've encountered and it's kind of made you a little bit shy, less willing to put yourself out there. Okay, why don't we go ahead and turn over these. We like that, that's new beginnings there. Yeah, look, new beginnings. You fall here with new beginnings and then you've got Ace of Pentacles. That definitely speaks to new beginnings. Four of Water. So that's connected with this loss. With your one, we, we actually got five of the good tarot. So let's have a look. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow. Whatever loss you've experienced recently, Group 2. You've got lots to look forward to. Five of water, yeah, see that's talking to some feeling of being upset, disappointment, almost um, like the sense of pulling your hair out over something. And this one here is six of earth, so that's six of pentacles. So there's a lot here talking, speaking to pentacles. So we're talking about tangible wealth, something to do with money. I mean, you have new beginnings. This is speaking to you getting over whatever loss this is. Um, the cards have started with abundance up here. Then over here, it's speaking to abundance as well with the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. Yeah, and once again, there's this imagery of the hand. See, she's got this, that orb there in her hand. It's been handed to you just like that Ace of Pentacles something that's been handed to you as well as these um, hands of the divine holding you up and handing you an opportunity. But it does look like in order for you to make use of this opportunity, you need to put yourself out there in some way. Like with the fool, you need to step outside your comfort zone, potentially take that leap of faith. Um, Especially we can understand here with this lost card and this supportive connections in reverse that you're not feeling up to venturing out, pushing yourself out there, connecting with others. But the cards are really saying that you need to do this in order for you to make use of these opportunities that definitely seem to want to come in for you. And at the end here, you've got six of earth, six of pentacles. So this is about you being in balance with your finances. You've got so much money, look, use the coins as ornaments, love that. Okay, and then here you've got Wisdom of the Oracle as some parting guidance with Go the Distance. 
you've managed this far so this is really not a time for you to give up on whatever dreams you may have had whatever it is that you had envisioned for your life this is about passing this finish line is going to be achieved once you get yourself out there again okay because you've got so much energy that's supporting you in doing so then you've got that ability to connect with whatever it is that you need to connect with for you to achieve this but yes the message is very clear there group two it's really calling for you to step out of any comfort zones timeouts that you've given yourself it's now time to launch yourself out there you need to have that exposure in order to make use of the opportunities that are wanting to come your way okay all right then group two that is the message that i have for you if you found this helpful please consider liking and subscribing Take care of yourselves and I'll connect with you again very soon. Hi and welcome to those of you who selected group number three. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these cards over. This is going to be a quick five to seven minute reading, definitely under the eight minute mark. We'll get the yes or no answer, which is a yes. Two out of these three cards indicate a yes for me. So that is the answer to your question, group three. Now we are going to look into what further insight we might have from the Oracle cards. And this is teacher. This is stuck energy in reverse, which is good. And consciousness, optimism, well that looks good. Hmm. So group number three, these I like the way these cards have fallen here. Now, you may have suffered some kind of disappointment or some disillusionment, maybe. Let's have a look here. Potentially just feeling disappointed in, in what it is that you have right now, but you can see here that there is a cup that's been handed to you but you just need to look up and see it. Right now you're focusing on um, these three here, which normally is not a bad thing, I don't think, but I'm, I'm not getting a sense that he's happy with those three cups in front of him, disappointed in some way. But it does seem that there's some expansion to be had as well as, as, well as some celebrations. And it could even be with these three of cups here, um, it just requires a change of perspective. It allows appreciation of these cups, which could then, then be celebrated. But if we look down here with these cards, this is fantastic energy because if you have been in a passage of feeling a little bit down about something, which I'm thinking here, that does seem to be the case. This is you moving out of that energetic quagmire, being able to release yourself from those heavy energies and move towards a period of optimism and that's what you have here which is fantastic under the three of cups and this is fantastic under the three of wands because in releasing the stuck energy then you're able to see the possibilities there with the three of wands so that's fantastic and it looks like you've got some kind of mentor here that may have helped you in moving through these energies helped you to change your outlook, your beliefs, your perspectives. This is how this positivity has come about. So that's fantastic. Okay, so let's have a look at what the good tarot says. Magician. Yes, you are your own magician, I would say. Two of air, two of swords. Once again, that's landing on the stuck energy. So this is just what was holding, holding you in a place of indecision, not being able to see things clearly and therefore being disappointed about something. Hierophant. This is you coming into your own mastery. And I'd say that this teacher has had some kind of major influence in allowing you to achieve a level of knowledge, a level of mastery over yourself even. Yeah, see, you're claiming the victor here. Wow, okay, fabulous. Oh, high priestess. These are energetic shifts that are helping you 
being in your own power and it looks like you've had really great guidance here group number three somebody's been instrumental in helping you to achieve this level of knowledge this level of mastery here because you understand how to make that knowledge work for you can you see here your these cards the magician and the high priestess on the end flanking there one and the two well done oh look and then you've got peace there's lots of plays on the five here you've got the 23 with the peace card there which is a five Hierophant's a five and then you know if you put the magician and the high priestess together that's the one two is a three plus the two is a five but this is really fabulous this is you coming into your own sovereignty group three because you are now in this level of optimism and consciousness and this real sense of balance surety about you you're now in a position where you welcome whatever it is that's next in your life Oh, that feels really good. Congratulations, group three. Yeah, this teacher, gosh, they did well. You did well to take on that knowledge. That was well transferred. The teacher represents the magician as well as the fact that you've become your own magician also. All right, group three, that's the message I have for you. If you found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Take care of yourselves and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon.